tread lightly. Keep it safe, play hard. Hello, I'm Simon Christie and welcome to the first in a series of videos on the new Holden Colorado 7 4x4. It's been a number of years since Holden had a serious four-wheel drive on offer, but they're now back in the market with the Colorado 7, which packs some genuine punch for real four-wheel drivers. Loaded with features and carefully designed with the four-wheel driver in mind, the Colorado 7 is just at home on the blacktop as it is in the dirt. But I'm not here to show you some flashy shots of the Colorado 7 in the city. I want to see for myself how this new Holden 4 wheel drive can handle the real Australia. The sort of track that gets you out of the city, away from the hustle and bustle and off on your own adventure much like we are today. Out of the box, the Holden Colorado 7 boasts a 5 star ANCAP rating, seating for 7 adults and a 3 tonne towing capacity. But what makes this mid-size 4x4 wagon Holden's toughest ever 4 wheel drive? Well as you will see across this series of videos, it's the on-dirt and outback performance that is everyone talking. Fusing the legendary Duramax 2.8 turbocharged diesel engine with a true low-range transfer case and a specific five-link coil rear end, the Colorado 7 offers distinct on-road matters and comfort matched with reliable and capable four-wheel drive ability. So how good is it? Well, here is a taste of what we have coming up in this special series of videos testing the Colorado 7's four-wheel drive potential. We'll look at how it handles rocks, hill climbs and descents, water crossings, mud, the outback and more. I'm very excited to be a part of the release, testing and promotion of this all new 4x4 offering from Holden. So far I've been pleasantly surprised by what the Colorado 7 can do, but I'm keen to take it out for some serious testing. See how it handles a variety of conditions and I'll be taking all of you with me. So to keep up to date with how the new Colorado 7 4x4 handles real Australian four-wheel drive conditions, watch this space. I'm excited about it and I hope you are too. This week, we are looking at highlights from the 2012 Mickey Thompson Triple S Winch Challenge Series from South East Queensland, namely rounds two and three. So what exactly is a winch challenge? Well, in short, it's a timed race through a series of gates and bunted sections where the tracks are typically set to be so difficult that teams will be forced to complete parts of each course using their winches. Not only do the teams spend considerable time, money and effort on building their vehicles to be as capable, safe and reliable as possible, but the winches themselves also receive special attention. It's not uncommon for a team to spend well over $5,000 on just modifying a winch, but figures over $10,000 are not out of the question either. In a quest to save time at every opportunity, it is beneficial to have a stronger, tougher, faster and more reliable winch. And as such, the average winch on these rigs would include high power motors, a 24 volt conversion, twin motor setups, longer and stronger synthetic rope, new gear sets, bigger drums, air operated free spools, twin solenoid packs, heavy duty wiring, pressurized housings, and plenty more. So 
So who competes at a winch challenge? Well, just about anyone who is interested in taking their four-wheel drive challenges to the next level. There's no standard demographic or age group, and whilst it's definitely a male-dominated scene, female competitors are welcomed and embraced, and there are a number of lady drivers and teams giving the boys a run for their money. Coming up after the break, we've got our feature on round three of the Mickey Thompson Triple S Winch Challenge Series. So hang around for all that and a whole lot more right here on 4 Drive TV. Holden's toughest 4x4 ever has arrived. Introducing the all-new Holden Colorado 7. It comes with seven seats as standard and it's loaded with serious off-road grunt. You'll get three-ton towing and the awesome 470 newton meter Duramax diesel engine, plus an impressive weighting depth and hill descent control, all for the hardcore adventurer. The all-new Holden Colorado 7 is here. Take it off-road at your Holden dealer today. Finally, the driving light you've always wanted is here, boasting a class-leading free-form reflector and a super-tough polycarbonate lens and ABS housing. The all-new Nava Ultimate 225 is a revolutionary driving light, available in halogen, halogen blue and HID, in both spread and pencil beams, and supplied complete with a plug-and-play wiring harness and polycarbonate lens protectors. These Aussie Outback Tough Lights outshine the competition. Visit nava.com.au for more information and make the switch to the brightest lights in town. Total recovery and extraction device, TREAD. Whether it's sand, mud, snow, rocks, or any tough terrain, TREAD is the ultimate all-in-one recovery device. Designed and manufactured in Australia for rugged performance, TREAD will let you explore with confidence. Available in a variety of colors and two easy to use sizes, TREAD is the true Aussie traction board you've been waiting for. For more information, visit meanmother.com.au. Let's now check out the highlights from round three of the Mickey Thompson Triple S Winch Challenge and also discuss the rights and responsibilities of 4x4 motorsport and why you should be involved. Four x four motorsport is safe. The event organisers go to great lengths to set detailed rules and vehicle specifications. Both drivers and navigators wear helmets and anyone operating recovery gear must wear gloves. Window nets and harnesses are mandatory and each vehicle must have its own onboard fire extinguisher and complete recovery kit. But the rules aren't just all about safety and special care is put into ensuring the future of the sport from an environmental standpoint. Only specifically allocated and dedicated private lands are used for these events. Track use is minimised, adapted and cycled to ensure minimal use and impact. Wheel spin is limited and any excessive track or terrain degradation is frowned upon or penalised.
It is critical for the future of the sport that these events are sustainable and that the areas used are well managed, monitored and regularly assessed for any level of impact. Four x four events like this are also the correct and responsible forum to push your driving limitations. Public areas and the general bush are not the place for racing. If you want to go hard, and there's nothing wrong with that, then 4x4 Motorsport is the right way to go. The 4 Drive TV website has a long list of regular events where you can marshal, spectate or compete. So how about getting involved? And don't forget, even to just get out there and see these events firsthand, you'll need a 4 wheel drive. And who doesn't want another excuse to get out there and go wheeling? A big shout out to Shane Gerrish, our Queensland correspondent for his support of the Aussie four-wheel drive scene, and in particular his involvement with the Queensland 4x4 competition scene. Thanks Shane for the footage and we look forward to hearing from you again shortly. Today I'm at Perth's leading 4x4 accessory shop, Ultimate 4-Wheel Drive, where the owners and staff here are very passionate about three things. First of all, 4x4 accessories, they have the world's best. Secondly, customer service is paramount. And thirdly, 4-Wheel Drives, of course. Now the owners here have come up with a fantastic and novel idea to celebrate all three of those passions. They're giving away this amazing Hilux behind me, the Ultimate Tourer. Now this vehicle is worth close to $100,000. And I'm serious, they're going to be giving this away. To find out more information, let's catch up with Glenn, one of the owners here at Ultimate 4-Wheel Drive in Perth. Well, viewers, Simon's exactly right. We are passionate about 4-Wheel Drives and we are giving away this vehicle. As 4-Wheel Drivers and business owners, supporting high quality 4-Wheel Drive products is paramount to us. And the build up and giveaway of this vehicle worth almost $100,000 is testament to that. This 2012 Hilux was purchased brand new by us specifically for this giveaway. If you're lucky enough to win this vehicle, you'll drive away with a brand new car where all the hard work's already done. We spared no expense on this vehicle and some of Australia's leading 4x4 accessory companies are supporting the project. ARB have come to the party with ARB Deluxe Winch Bar, Winch Installation Kit, side rails and steps, safari snorkel, under vehicle protection panels, front recovery points, air compressor and tyre inflation kit, rear air locker, auxiliary battery tray, roof console, inflator with gauge, and the ARB Easy Deflator PSI gauge. Black Widow have donated the Black Widow Premium Twin Draw System with heavy duty built-in fridge slide and escape gear Black Widow rear seat covers. Bridgestone and Canningvale have fitted a set of 275-6517 Bridgestone D697 AT Desert Jewelers plus a set of 17 by 8 inch rims. Diesel Care have kicked in the Steinbauer Performance Module. EFS Enhanced Full Drive Suspension have donated a heavy duty full suspension system including front rear springs, U-bolts, shackles, bushes, front struts and coils. Ideal Seat Company have come to the party with a set of Cross Sportster luxury seats, including airbags, Light Force performance lighting, a pair of top of the range 50 watt Genesis HID spotlights, a set of lock nuts, lock bolts, combo filters, plus four 170 striker spotlights, lock nuts, and blue filters to suit. 
Caplatec have provided one of their full pad heavy duty rust protection systems. Me Mother 4 Drive have supplied a 9,500 Boss Series winch plus a full Me Mother recovery kit. Milford Auto have come to the party with a heavy duty receiver tow bar, wiring harness and tow ball. National Luna Portable Fridge Freezers have donated a 52 litre stainless steel fridge freezer. Additionally, the National Luna 1224 volt LED ultra clip on light and a selection of camping accessories. Proax Automotive have come to the party with a heavy duty SMM steel canopy. Red Arc Electronics have donated a Red Arc 40 amp DC DC in vehicle charging system, electronic trailer brakes, and a 150 watt solar panel. Rhino Rack have supplied a heavy duty track mount system with aero bars, Pioneer Tray with heavy duty track mount, Sunseeker awning, Rhino shovel holder, and high lift jack holder. Taipan XP have supplied a stainless steel 3 inch exhaust system and a front mount intercooler. Audio Extra have donated a Uniden UH760 all in one UHF radio and a heavy duty aerial kit. Our cells here at Ultimate Full Drive have donated a strong arm long range fuel tank, full custom electrical wiring system, including batteries, all the componentry, strong arm single spare wheel carrier, plus strong arm light stand with LED work light, a high lift jack, a shovel, a pair of tread recovery boards, a center point recovery receiver, power points to the rear, front rear deep dish floor mats, and front rear deluxe styling flares. Plus we've done all of the fitting and testing. So when you add all that up, you've got the ultimate tourer plus the ultimate four drive equipment giveaway. For more details on how you can win this amazing prize, follow the links on the four drive TV website. The next generation of shock absorbers is here. Leading the way in 4x4 suspension development, Old Man Emu introduces the most advanced and finely tuned shock absorber on the market. Nitro Charger Sport incorporates a new valving system that instantly adapts to all terrain for an outstanding smooth ride and phenomenal control. Backed by a three year 60,000 kilometer warranty, you can trust Nitro Charger Sport, built in Australia for Australian conditions. Do you need more from your four-wheel drive suspension? Designed for Aussie conditions, Superior Engineering has a suspension solution to suit any four-wheel drive. Mix and match from the widest range of specialty suspension components or opt for the latest in spring and dampening technologies. Throw in the widest range of 4x4 suspension accessories and Superior Engineering is your complete 4x4 and suspension specialist. Superior Engineering, it's engineered to be superior. For more information, visit superiorengineering.com.au. Warning, water in fuel is one of the biggest killers of diesel engines, but there is now a unique alarm system available that lets you know when there are dangerous water levels in your fuel system. Water Watch is a simple and effective fuel alarm that offers LED and audible warning signals. Easily fitted, Water Watch is inexpensive insurance for your vehicle. Avoid huge repair costs, ensure your motor runs clean, and be warned of any water issues with the innovative Water Watch. For more information, visit waterinddiesel.com.au. My name's Adam, this is my RA Rodeo. About a year and a half ago I bought the car. The, some of the modifications are performance chip, long range fuel tank, lift, steel tray, wheel bar, spotlights and a few other little mods. Some of the future modifications I'd like to do would be lockers all around, slightly higher lift, rock sliders and scrub bars as well as a winch. Down Gore Beach a lot of the time, most weekends, but I like to hit as many tracks as I can during the weekends as well. Yeah, it's a touring vehicle, track vehicle, it's a work car, it does all of the above. I'd love to do the border track and I would love to do Flinders. Announcements on the next Your Rig trip and how you could be the weekly rig will be made shortly. And this week's Your Rig has won. A road and four drive atlas and outback adventure map courtesy of HEMA mapping. A complete diesel fuel filter kit thanks to Donaldson. A bottle of sweet baby ray sauce. The Toyota Land Cruiser Legend DVD thanks to Terrain Tamer. A Nava USB power cup, a U-Fixit windshield repair kit, or tyre ratchet set, an AnySharp edge sharpener thanks to Keesler, caps from ARB and Carryboy, a stubby of Bundaberg ginger beer, 
a pair of four drive TV stickers, a prize pack from ARB, including socks, travel mug, valve caps, and a jacket. And it's all neatly wrapped up in an ARB carry bag. I'd like to thank Simon and Miranda for filming me on your rig and for the prize pack. I would like to thank all the sponsors as well. I'll see you out on the track someday. He's nearing 80. They've just entered their teens. He's worked the last 65 years as a mechanical engineer. They play video games. Kids in my day never got away with things like that. Brought up in two completely different worlds. Some hairdo looks like a mop. There is one interest they have in common. Four-wheel drives. Tune in to see whether these juniors can withstand the heat and put up with Alan. And you missed a bit back here. Good morning, you guys. Hey, uh, listen, what's that? Flywheel. It's a bench. Oh, that thing, yeah, okay. Yeah. Flywheel. What does a flywheel do? The main thing is to take the vibration down to the motor and make it run a bit smoother. But we're going to bolt a clutch on there today. Are you listening very carefully? Yeah. What's that called? Diaphragm clutch. A what? Diaphragm clutch. Oh, that's the way to go. Okay, okay, so that's a diaphragm clutch. Okay, there's a lot of things I want to show you about this. They've got holes in the rivets. Why do you reckon they've got holes in the I can see you. I'm going to try something else more attractive. Why have they got holes in the roof, in the rivets? No. No, yes. No. Okay. So if they didn't have holes in the rivets and you've got pressure on there, sometimes you can build up pressure in there and it'll actually make that stick to the flywheel and drive and you don't want it to drive. There's another thing here that you want to watch. See that there's a spring in between there, a wavy spring. See there? See how I can push them together like that? Mm. Now that means as you're letting your foot off the clutch, it just starts to touch for a minute, starts to take up smoothly more and more pressure and it gets solid. If that was solid, it would just go bang, bang, in or out. But it doesn't, it's got those cushion springs, okay? So if a clutch becomes sort of sudden and jerky, sometimes those cushion springs are weak. So there, you got a bit of rag? No. Ah, you're supposed to have, not your handkerchief either. Okay, give that a bit of a wipe. I don't want your mother on me back. Get that oil off it. No, that's all right, don't wear it out. Okay, let's go. We're gonna bolt this down on there very carefully. Uh, and remember how we bolted up wheels? We went crossways, side by side. It's most important that you do it this way. Down a little bit, down a bit more, down a bit more. Okay, let's screw them on there. Alan teaches the boys to use a tension wrench to finish bolting the pressure plate down. Gently now. You've got a big lever on that, rather than you had before. Right. Why is he using a tension wrench? So he doesn't shear off the bolts. Overstretch the bolts, yeah. You can undo bolts with a tension wrench? No, no. Why not? Because you're putting strain on the wrench. You, you might make it, make it inaccurate there. Yeah. Al puts the clutch in the press to demonstrate what happens when someone presses down on the clutch pedal. Now this normally presses about 20 mil in your, in your car, okay? So this here, pressing those diaphragm down there? Yeah. And that'll be lifting the, the clutch plate, the uh, pressure plate away. Yeah, look, it's all loose already. See that? Sliding around. So that's cleared nicely. And see those springs are wide open. As, as we release that, they, they're gonna close gradually back together, okay? So it starts to drive, starts to drive nice and smooth, and then boom, boom, foot off the clutch, and away you go. That's better than the poke in the eye with a sharp stick, isn't it? Now you guys, we're talking about how, I showed you how a clutch releases when you push that release bearing down, and you asked a sensible question, how does it get down? Okay, so we've got a hydraulics cylinder under our foot, that produces a fluid, which goes into this, what we call a slow cylinder, and moves this arm backwards and forwards. The arm's pivoted in there, okay, and it just pushes this release bearing. Looks a bit different than the other release bearing, but they all do the same job. Okay, so that just moves that, pushes those fingers down, and allows you to change gears. Pretty simple, straightforward. Next, the boys are going to have a go at soldering. So what do you know about soldering, kids? You do any soldering? Yeah. Some type of oh, right. you, metal. And you have? Yeah. Yeah, successful? Yeah. Turn this on, this is a soldering iron unit. We turn that on. So it's going to be hot here, okay? So just hold it sort of up in the air like that. Yeah. Make sure the iron is on the, on the wire or on the terminal. Just, you've got to hold the iron fairly tight onto the... Like having three hands, you need three hands, don't you? I suppose uh, practice can get better at it. Oh, of course. This is the first time you're doing pretty good. Oh, yeah, look, it's gone. Oh, yeah, look at that. You could tow a truck with that. So you can get soldering irons that just plug into a, even a battery on a, on a car. You can get soldering irons that plug straight into the wall. Or you can get proper s adjustable things like that. Keep, keep it on there all the time, mate. Eh? Don't worry about it. 
So that's the basics of soldering, and I like people to solder things together because it makes a, a real good job, you know. Okay, that'll do us for now. And we'll switch that off and let it cool out. Well, guys, there's another session over. Yeah, I was pretty interested to show you about that clutch. That's pretty clever, isn't it? What did you learn from that? Just how it works and all that. Yeah. Can you understand yeah. fully how it works? Could you describe that to somebody else? Yeah. yeah that's pretty good, isn't it? All right, on your way. Yeah, see, see, see you. Yeah, okay, right over. Right. The Australian 4x4 Muster will hit the Loveday 4x4 Adventure Park over the weekend of August 3 and 4. A family-based 4x4 fun weekend, every visitor will have the chance to win a restored Triton 4x4. There'll be a swap meet, playtime and the sensational 4B fun challenges. It's a great weekend for friends and family. There's plenty to see and do, plus the on-site camping, toilets, showers, food and bar all make for a legendary weekend. So book out the first weekend of August, grab some mates and come along for the Australian 4x4 muster near Barmer in South Australia. We'd love to see you there. Hi, my name's Scott Donoghue. I'm from Wanthaggy in Victoria. Uh, this is my mud racer called Unleashed. It's got an injected 5 litre and a turbo 400 in it, 18 inch paddle tyres, Today we're racing in Edenhope, which is about an hour out of Horsham, heading towards South Australia. Got a good turnout of cars today, track looks good, got some good jumps with some deep water holes and should be a lot of fun. Just like to thank a few people that have helped me out with my car. Easy as car wash, Dom Mix Concrete, Auto Barn Wanthagi for looking after us, and Tire Power Wanthagi, Four Wheel Drive TV for coming along and supporting us, and Reedy's 4x4 in Bendigo.